How's it going boys? Danny here, back with another New World video. Since the since the update, we've had a couple of new places that we can use for our chest runs. So I thought I'd quickly run you through what we are currently doing for our, our chest run. Um, so just very quickly, what we tried to do is make it um, as cost effective as possible, uh, as well as get as much out of this chest run as we can. I know that chest runs aren't as good as they used to be, but there are still places where you can rank up your expertise every time we do a chest run. Although it takes longer, we are finding that a lot of people are getting their, their expertise bumped up. So the route, that, the route that we currently do is we start off at ebb and scale and we work our way clockwise around, work our way clockwise around the map. Um, so we start off over here um, at the Imperial Palace. So what we did initially for the first couple of days is get everyone to spawn at Pilgrim's Rest and we all ran over together um, because Imperial Shrine is one of the newer um, the newer shrines, the new fast travel points. So we start we start down here and we head on, and head our head our way around. Um, you work around around the right hand side. You head up at the you end up at the North Palace Shrine and then you come back all the way to the top of the Imperial Palace and then you'll jump off into the water. Um, what I did do was extremely good graphics so you can see the route <laughs> um so this was this was built on the new world fans map so as you can see we started down here at the uh the shrine made our way around grabbed these four big chests here grab the other big chests on route head up to the top where you get your free um elite chest at the top you fight a couple of bosses so you will probably want to be doing this with 10 to 15 people as a minimum and that's probably a good uh, a good number to be honest because we typically end up running with around 30 to 40 people and people aren't getting the drops from the mobs although it's quicker you do miss out on the uh, uh the gypsum from the from the uh, elite bosses anyway you make your way back down you head all the way um you, you'll come to a big set of stairs you need to branch off to your left as you're heading towards them there's another big chest down there head back head up to the top and then jump off um get your final chest underneath the waterfall at that point people will either jump into the water um so they can get a respawn back to uh, the settlement or they'll end up teleporting up so the next location we do is great cleave and the reason we do great cleave i don't know if i've got any on me i do not is to get your rune stones for the dungeons um and you can get those on this particular route so it's a you don't have to do this you can skip this if you don't want to to get your expedition keys but it's uh one of the parts to make the expedition expedition key so we'll start off at great cleave outpost again i've got a extremely great graphic for you so you start off at the outpost you make your way around grab one of the elite chests head down here kill meatball man kill tentacle and then you'll make your way around just grabbing the chests on route it's pretty pretty quick so that'll just give you your two rune stones so you can make your uh, expedition keys um after that most of us have our uh our inn set at mountain home um this is still the typical route so the route that we've been running um it's launched to pump your water mark your expertise so you head into the mines you do the mines route there's a couple of the chests have moved um but typically they're all within the same location the thing that we've done differently this time is that once we finish the mines we jump off we grab the portals um again the reason behind grabbing the portals is to get some of your ads off back as well as getting your uh, your gypsum from the portals from, from the uh, the breaches again uh, the murk guard route is pretty much the same and if we need to and if these are up once we once we come out the east side we'll head all the way up or excuse me we'll head down and then we'll head all the way up and grab all the portals again before heading down to uh eden grove Eden Grove is something that we, we used to run back in the day, um, but has now been ranked up. And the area you're going to be heading to is Malevolence. So this, as you can see now, has been um, up level to 66, which makes it more valuable to come here. Um, the chest can give XP bumps as well, as well as giving you good drops. So we all, we all port after, um, after Merc, we all port down to Elysian Shrine. Um, we wait here for a few minutes um and then we head on in so you want you want to make your this is kind of the route again fantastic graphic for you 
Um, heading from the shrine, you'll kill, I believe it's Bane. I'm probably going to get his name wrong. Um, the elite at the top of the tower here. And then you'll head on over and you'll make your way up Malevolence. Um, I can do a guide for this if you guys would like it. But what you basically do is once you get into the tower, jump right to the bottom and then just work your way up. Um, there's a couple of secret chests as you go out on the ledges. But I think by now everyone knows this route. If you don't, leave me a comment below and I'll spend a bit of time and I'll do the individual chest run routes on the individual locations. Um, and then finally, once you finish Malevolence, again, just jump into the water afterwards, get your respawn, or if you've got, uh, if you've got a house, we head down to Reek Water. Um, again, this is kind of the normal chest run as it were, but we're only focusing on the big chests. So... Great graphic you start off in the town you'll head all the way up to eternal pools do eternal pools quick and then head back down um route we do is slightly different in internal in eternal pools now the chests at the bottom here typically are the small chests so again this could be a great a great time for me to to show you the new route once you leave eternal pool there's a there's a rock you can climb up on the left here and it takes you all the way up straight towards the bear you can kill the bear, kill the tentacle, and then go straight up to the top. So you, you're kind of speed running it at this point. You're getting it done. You're probably on about an hour and a half at this point. Um, maybe even a bit longer. Uh, once you finish Eternal Pools, heading back down to uh, Forecastle. And doing the typical Forecastle route. Again, just focusing on the elite chests. Um, and you'll end up all the way up at the uh, the arena here. And at that point, that is your, your chest run done. Um, so yeah, quick recap, Ebon Scale first, then Great Cleave, then um, Shattered Mountain, then Eden Grove, and we're finishing off at Greek Water. That's it, that is the new chest run on the new patch. If you would like me to do the individual chest runs to show you where we go in the particular locations, leave me a comment below and I'll get that recorded as well. Yeah, thanks for watching.